We knew it was a possibility the Raiders could have a tough time against the Atlanta Falcons. After all, they get paid to play too. As for this 737 point loss game film, Las Vegas is going to look at it like the forgotten moldy casserole in the back of the refrigerator and throw it away. John Gruden and the Raiders were 6 and 4 through 10 games last year. Really feel like this team is built to respond to adversity better than last year. Hold that point. Derek Carr, under duress, as he was all game, he is sacked and fumbles. The Falcons recover. Atlanta in giveaway mode early on as well. Matt Ryan intercepted by Jonathan Abram. Good bounce back for him. His first pick of the season. Derek Carr builds on that momentum with a dazzling ball down the sideline to Henry Ruggs, the rookie. What a play. Las Vegas in business. The offense couldn't score. Daniel Carlson, though, he converts. It's a 6 3 Atlanta lead early. Falcons driving late in the second quarter. Matt Ryan to Calvin Ridley, and he celebrates by throwing dice like he's at the El Cortez. That's how we celebrate. Come on. Raiders turn. Doesn't last long. Right tackle Brandon Parker gets beaten by the pass rush badly. Carr is mauled. Atlanta recovers on the sack fumble. Third quarter, fresh start, right? Moldy result. Interception by all pro Deion Jones. Welcome to Atlanta. Touchdown. Nobody in sight. And they kept on stepping on the wounded. Matt Ryan to Brandon Powell on a well designed crossing pattern. It's a 30 to 6 game, and it gets worse. Derek Carr. He's going to be looking over his shoulder for the rest of the week. Sacked and stripped for the third time this game. Raiders had five turnovers. The three and seven Falcons look like the 1985 Bears. 43 to six, Las Vegas gets jumped in Georgia. There, there's some things you got to fight through, but you know when when we got hit in the mouth, I think with the fourth and one, the stop, uh, then we fumble the next play. We've got to get up off the mat and fight bet, back better as a coaching staff and as, as a football team. And uh, that's something we got to take a look at. Like I said, it's a reflection of me, and um, I apologize to the Raider fans. I, I didn't think, uh, personally, we had our best week of practice. Personally, thought we were a little flat. Um, clearly, that was the case in the game. And uh, anytime you turn the ball over like that, you're not, you're not going to win football games. You know, that's very rare. Uh, percentages are really low. So, um, yeah, that, that, that haven't felt this way in a while. So it's. Uh, it's a gut punch uh, for sure. I'll apologize to our fans as well. That's not who we are. You know, that's not what we want to put on film. You know, especially coming off a you know, heartbreaking loss like we did last week. You know, we were supposed to come out here this week and, you know, kind of take our anger out on, on the Falcons. And I kind of feel like we didn't do that. I kind of feel like we had a pity party for ourselves.